a member of House of Representatives representing Kushofe Federal constituency of Lagos State, Kafila Obara, has organized a town hall meeting on, to engage a constituent on their achievements and get feedback on how to improve a legislative assignment. We have more in this report. This is the first town hall meeting since Kafila Togbara became a member of the House of Representatives representing Koshofe Federal Constituency in the 10th National Assembly. The lawmaker used the meeting to give an account of projects she has executed and addressed concerns raised by her constituents. The last six months, I've done six motions. I've done for persons living with disability. I've done for the flood victims in my constituency. I've done on the Medi Federal Medical Center for Koshofe Federal Constituency. I've done for VAP Act, Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, and others. So, and I've also, in my little way, done my oversight functions in the Ministry of Women Affairs, in the National Center for Women Development, and other committees that I belong. We have tried, you know, to ensure that status quo does not remain the same. That whatever allocation that we have allocated to the ministries, departments and agencies must be judiciously used. The meeting was graced by dignitaries from different parts of the state who commended the impact of the lawmaker on the development of the constituency. It's one to come and render account of what she has done and for people to listen to her and then to tell her their minds. And that is what we have seen here today. And I think it's uh, significant and it's symbolic of the fact that we do not joke with our people. Some of the constituents got financial support from the lawmaker for their businesses, which they say will boost their productivity. Immediately I collect the money. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a business woman. I'll be thinking of what to buy with the money. I'm so excited. The money is so useful. I cannot, it's only God that will help us to thank her. The people believe that open discussions like this will enhance effective communication and bridge the gap between leaders and their followers. Zainab Akonde, TVC News, Lagos. And Governor of Ondo State, Loki Aida Tiwa, says his administration will continue to embark on developmental projects.